What is going on everybody? It's Hayes Carlson coming back at you over here at Floyd's RV in beautiful Norman, Oklahoma. And today we're going to be talking about the Passport GT 2900 RLs. This beautiful guy right here, I'm going to tell you guys a lot about it. Kind of what separates this from other, some of the other competition out there. So let's get into it. First things first, starting over here in the back, we're gonna have our key TV hookups, guys. So a key TV is uh, making sure that there's no splitters, giving you the clearest connection possible whenever you guys are watching TV, whether that's cable or satellite. So we got our key TV initial hookups, our Solera powered awning that does go all the way down. Nice LED strip in the top of that so we can see what we're doing. Moving along, we're gonna have uh, the back end of our refrigerator, our exhaust, as well as some more key TV outlets. So that one over there is the inlet. These are the outlets. So we have the two outlets as well as two GFCI plugs because we are bounded for a TV mounting bracket. So we can mount a TV over here, get our key TV going on and plug that puppy in so we can undo the awning, get our outdoor speakers going, and man, have a good time hanging outside the camper, having fun. Now, going over this way, we're gonna have our black tank flush. Guys, you've already noticed this thing does have two doors. We're gonna get into that in just a minute. Now, in our pass-through storage, we do have the magnet doors, which I love so much. And then this is our big pass-through storage, guys. Now, this is equipped with four electronic stabilizer jacks. So whenever you guys pull up to your camping site over here in your pass-through storage, we can use these to either extend or retract those stabilizer jacks, making sure you guys are nice and stable. Plenty of space here in the pass-through storage with a light here as well. Moving along, this is a Passport GT. And because it is a Passport GT, we're gonna have this molded fiberglass front cap on this thing. So this is automotive grade, molded just for this camper, unlike the SL series, which has a flat bit. So there's a couple of differences between an SL and a GT, which I'm gonna go over with you guys in just a moment. Now we are gonna have our electronic tongue jack. We have a nice light right here so we can see what we are doing in the dark. And then we have uh, our extend and retract buttons to raise and lower that guy to get it just how you need it. Two 20 pound propane tanks in here. Here's where all of our batteries would go. Now guys, we are pre-wired for ZAMP solar charging. So only use ZAMP charging, portable charging systems. Here's where we can hook that up. And with those ZAMP solar chargers, they uh, either make a portable one that we can put on the ground or we can mount some up on the top on the roof. So, pretty neat stuff. Here's the other end of our pass-through storage, our nice cord, and then this is our propane quick connect cord as well as our manual override drive there. Good, good stuff. Again with the magnet doors. Love that. All right, let's talk about some weights. Unloaded vehicle weight, 6220. GVWR 7200. All right, just so you guys are aware. Now over here is gonna be our fresh water and city water connections. And then under that, we do have the nice outdoor shower with hot and cold water. Good stuff. Now moving right along, guys, we have our nice big cable driven slide. There's four motors, one in each corner that's gonna pull it in nice and evenly. And then over here, guys, this is a 50 amp service unit. So because of that, we are pre-wired for a second AC. We can get a second AC hooked up in here for you guys. Now in the back, we are also pre-wired for a backup camera so we can see what you're doing. And then we do have a nice spare tire when they're nice enough to give us a cover for that. Now this guy right here is really cool. So we do have this pin that we can unhook and then move this guy around and have a grill mounted on it so we can get to cooking and having a good time. And then whenever we do get to cooking and having a good time, we would use this propane quick connect nozzle right here. This guy with the little yellow end on it. So if we pop that off, this is just a really easy quick connect system. It's gonna run off of the 220 pound propane tanks up top. 
cool part about this is you can use whatever grill that you want as long as it is uh, powered by liquid gas propane really neat stuff guys so that's pretty much it on the outside i know you guys want to get on the inside and see what this thing's all about so let's do it drop me a comment down below guys and let me know what some of your favorite features are and what you think about this thing now this is going to have our keystone company rv solid steps as well as our lend a hand handy dandy handle guys like i said this is a 2900 rl this is good for extended season camping we do have a forced air heated and enclosed underbelly we've talked about our stabilizer jacks as well as the zamp solar charging so let's get into it and see what we can see inside What do you guys think? First impressions, drop me a comment down below and let me know what you think. So starting off in the back over here, we're gonna have our big control panel. Now here we can do our liquid propane gas or electric water heater, our water pump, porch light and ceiling lights. And then with these guys up here, we can check our battery level as well as our uh, black and gray tank levels too. So we are going to have the one big slide as well as our awning, which we can control right there. And then some light switches over here too, guys. Nice clicky lights, love that. Now over here, we're gonna have a nice little bit of storage. One thing that I love about this camper is the big rear window. Love, love, love that. So whenever you guys are camping, you can get a great view of the kids playing outside, of the mountain view, a good view of the lake going on. Wherever you guys are at, you're gonna be able to see that. Now another thing that I really like about this floor plan are the two freestanding chairs. So these things are awesome. They are recliners so we can sit down and have a good old time. We can lay back and get our recline going. Man, take ourselves a good old nap in this thing. Really comfortable, good floor plan in my opinion. So we're going to have the two recliners. And then we do have the love seat that's going to fold out into another big sleeping space here on the floor. So we do have that going for us. And we do have a dimmer as well. How cool is that, guys? Now in this slide, we're also going to have some nice big windows. And then we do have some north and south windows. Cool part about that is we can open those up and get a nice big cross breeze all throughout. Really neat stuff. Another thing that I like about these is the molding on the slides. I'm a big fan of this wood. It's some high quality material and it looks very, very professional. If you guys have watched my channel, you know that I'm a big fan of the U-shaped dinette because we can knock the legs out of this table and put that guy down, giving us another sleeping space. And it's long enough to where a guy who's six foot five like me can comfortably be on there. Now we're going to have USB chargers all around. So we have four there. And we also have two more GFCI outlets here too. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but we do have some LED lights for our dinette. And then in here, we're gonna have a lot more storage. Same thing on the other side. Plenty of storage back there. Now guys, moving over to our kitchen. Well, first let's talk about this little infotainment system. So here we're gonna have some storage up top. Our nice big TV. Now guys, we can take this guy and move it all around. And then we have some secret hidey hole storage back there. And then we're gonna have our IRV Technologies infotainment system. So here we can either play music inside or outside or both. We can do Bluetooth, AM, FM radio, aux cord, USB, HDMI, you name it. Now over here, we're gonna have our uh, key TV outlet another three prong outlet as well as uh, two more USB ports. Now one of the cool parts about this camper is since it's pre-wired for the Zamp solar charging system, we're going to have an outlet in the living room, in the kitchen, and in the bedroom that is strictly going to run off of solar. So that's what this guy is right here. If you guys can see that, off the grid inverter outlet prep. So really neat stuff. And underneath that we're going to have some more storage as well as our breaker, breaker panel and fuse box. Whoa, there we go. All right, moving on to our kitchen. Check out this big old Domatech fridge, man, this thing's huge. 
nice big refrigerator. And guys, this is a gas and electric refrigerator, so whenever you guys are going dry camping, worry not. Now over here, we're gonna have a decent bit of storage underneath our stove and oven. And then we do have a nice functioning oven here, as well as our Furion three burner gas stove. So as you guys know, two regular burners, as well as one high output burner, it's gonna have a richer air fuel mixture to where whenever you guys are in higher altitudes, it's not gonna putter out on you. A nice exhaust fan up top, as well as a residential microwave. And then above our countertops here, we've got even more storage. Same thing over here, plenty of space. I really like the small touches like this spice rack here, guys. What do you think of that? Now these are solid surface countertops. And with these countertops, they're going to be antimicrobial, easy to clean. And same thing with our nice deep stainless steel sink. We do have the stainless steel uh, faucet with the chef's nozzle so we can use some different spray modes as well as more drawer storage in here. Good stuff. Now we are gonna have a nice big drawer here that's gonna have our trash can. Now I really do like this little corner here, guys. So it, right here we have a spot where we can sit down and take off our shoes and put them underneath there and hang up our jacket on these nice little drunk octopus hooks. Love those guys, they're really cute. Now here's gonna be our thermostat. Now with this we can control the AC as well as our furnace. And then right here, this is where it gets really cool. We have all kinds of storage space. All kinds of storage space, guys. Plenty of space down this way so we can keep some towels or toiletries or different things like that. Or our folded clothes, any of that good stuff. Now going into our bathroom. Nice bright bathroom thanks to that skylight. We also have an attic fan that's going to get rid of any unwanted bathroom odors while we're in here. Our nice corner shower that does latch here in the middle whenever we are in transportation so we can get this little rubber guy and lock it up like that. Nice Domatech foot flush commode. Our on and off light switch, and then our sink, two GFCI outlets, our mirror, medicine cabinet back behind it, and some more storage underneath the sink. Cool stuff. All right, let's move on to the master bedroom. Now in here, we're gonna have two more GFCI outlets, uh, our two USB chargers, and then pocket closets on either side with some storage space up top. Again, with our nice pocket closets. Storage space up top. And then with our bed, we've got our grill that's gonna go on to that guy over in the back, as well as a nice little blanket here that's gonna go over the bed. Cool part about this, we do have the air springs, so you don't have to wear your arm out whenever you're getting into that storage. And then we can't forget about the nice sliding barn style door. Beautiful. B-E-A, beautiful. All right, guys. A couple of parts, excuse me, a couple of things that's gonna set this guy apart is gonna be the fact that we are pre-wired for two AC. So we have this guy here, as well as one over there. Speaking of AC, guys, this has the blade system. Cool part about this blade system, if you guys have watched my video, we've talked about this a little bit. So how this works is if you'll notice, there's a little lip right up there on the inside. So whenever we turn this guy, that lip, see that right there? That is a lip that I'm talking about, right? So if we have that lip facing towards the AC, that is gonna be less airflow out of the blade system. And then whenever we turn this guy to have it towards the back, that is going to catch more air, letting more air come through this vent. So we can customize those on any of the vents that are around. We can turn them around and do that. Really cool stuff. We'll have our uh, ceiling mounted speakers as well as the barreled ceiling. If you're a tall guy like me, that means a lot. 
So this isn't just a flat ceiling. We do have a nice curve there, giving us plenty of head space. Another part that I really like about this camper is the floors. So this has the hyper deck flooring. Cool part about that is that it is extremely water resistant, mold mildew resistant. This floor is gonna last longer than anything else on this trailer. Best floor on the market right here, guys. What do you guys think about this little passport? Could you see yourself camping in here? What are some of your favorite features? Drop me a comment down below and let me know what you think. I'm always looking for feedback from all of my viewers. And guys, if you do see yourself camping in this thing, let me know. I'm gonna have my phone number, my email address, my Facebook page, my inventory website, as well as a link to Keystone's website so you can learn more about this floor plan and all the other cool stuff that they've got too. But guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a subscribe, hit the like button, give me a comment down below. Always looking to get some feedback from you guys, but just like that, I'm gonna get out of here and film another video for you guys. Hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. See you later.